This is a number line. Yes, Amber. Do you know how to add using a number line? Oh, yes. We make jumps starting from zero. Very good. Now, let's learn addition up to 20 on the number line. Let's add 10 and 2 using a number line. Now, we start from zero and jump to the first number to be added. So, we jump from zero to ten. That's correct. Now, we have to add the number two with the number ten. So, we jump two steps to the right of ten. That is number twelve. Good, Amber. So, the answer is 12. Hey, Amber. Let us solve some addition problems. Oh, sure, Mr. Sparrow. Well, Amber, can you tell me what is 15 plus 4? Um, it is... Um, it would be easier if there were pictures. <laughs> yes, but there is another easier way. You can simply count forwards. <gasps> really? How to do that? It's very simple, Amber. Come here. Counting forwards means saying the next number. For example, if we want to add 15 and 4, we say the next numbers after 15 like 16, 17, 18 and so on. But when do we stop saying next numbers? Good question, Amber. Look at the second number. We have to say the next four numbers. Okay. So, four numbers after 15 are 16, 17, 18 and 19. So, 15 plus 4 is 19. Yay! You are correct, Amber. Now, let's see how to add numbers up to 20 using vertical and horizontal addition. Suppose we consider the example of adding 15 and 4. First, let's add it horizontally. So, Amber, what is the answer? To add 15 and 4, I count 4 numbers after 15 and get 19. Very good, Amber. Now, let's try adding this using the vertical method. But first, tell me, do you know what are place values? Oh, yes. It is the value of every digit in a given number. Okay. Then, tell me the place value of the digits in the number 15. The place value of 5 is 1's and 1 is 10's. That's right. Now notice how the numbers are written. The 1's are written one below the other. 
do not write a ones digit below the tens column. Now add the digits in the ones place first. 5 plus 4 is 9. Now add the tens. It is 1 plus 0. And so the answer is 1. Very good. You are right. Hey, hi bunny. Look what I've got for you. Wow, so many carrots. Thanks, Amber. Oh, you are welcome. Now let's see how many carrots are there in total. So we can find the total number of carrots by adding 8 and 3. 8 plus 3 gives 11. And so there are 11 carrots in total. Mr. Sparrow, can we add only two numbers? Why can't we add three numbers? <laughs> of course it can be done, Amber. Let's add three numbers. Suppose the three numbers are 4, 2 and 8. Let's add them horizontally first. Start with adding the first and second number. So what should be the answer, Amber? 4 plus 2 is 6. Yes, you're right. Now, remember the answer or write it down. Now add the answer to the third number. Bunny, can you help? Oh sure. 6 plus 8 is 14. Now, let's add the numbers vertically. Now, you both have to tell me how to add. First, we add the numbers 4 and 2. And remember or write the answer 6 besides the question. Now, add the answer 6 with the third number. So, 6 plus 8 is 14. Come on, let's revise the concepts we learned. You can perform addition up to 20 using the number line. For adding numbers, you can count forward. You can perform addition vertically or horizontally. You can use addition to solve real-life problems.